Ciao tutti, benvenuto. Uh, today I am Marisa and uh, I'm at All Our Way and here we like to show you how you can create magical recipes in your kitchen with very simple ingredients and that way you can share with your family and friends and that's something special when you can share all your delicious goodies with family and friends and today uh, it's going to be a very easy recipe that you can make, but it's a special treat. And what we're making is buffalo ranch pretzel nuggets. And this, you can just whip up very, very easily. Uh, there's no major ingredients. What we have are the pretzel nuggets that you can get. In fact, we just got some buy one, get one free, so that was a real savings. And along with that, all you need is a cup of oil, the Hidden Valley Ranch Dressing, the regular ranch dressing, not the dip one. And then to that, what we add is two tablespoons of dill, two teaspoons of garlic, and then a hot sauce. And we just whip, put that all together and you get something so amazing. And uh, we couldn't stop eating on them. And you know, we were just testing them out. Now, I've, I've never made them in this on this range before, this, so you have to kind of watch it a little bit. Your oven should be at 350 degrees, and um, we, uh, we cooked them a little bit long, the first batch a little bit longer. We cooked them for 20 minutes, but ideally, I think uh, 15 minutes will be just great, and I just stir them up in the middle, and then you're all set to go. So, what we're going to do is take one cup of oil and let me measure and you know what I'm right-handed and this is a pet peeve of mine I have to hold it like this because I pour with my right hand and this is on the right hand so I have to hold it with my left so anyway I don't know do you have pet peeves when it comes to things maybe they should make handles on both sides so I've got you can mix this up some of the people take this and put them in uh, just a Ziploc bag and then pour everything in. Instead, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to put the oil and the seasonings in. They have a little like mini prep here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the mini prep. And I've already got my, my seasoning all, all set to go. So in here, again, is two tablespoons of dill and two teaspoons of garlic. Very, very easy. Put that in that little mini prep dish pan and then again here's here's the ranch dressing just the regular buttermilk so I'm going to pour that in there make sure it kind of sticks in there so I'm going to make sure everything comes out of there so are you guys keeping warm give me a thumbs up or uh, let me know how things are going for you I hope I hope you are warm. Uh, would you believe I am wearing my winter clothes and it's supposed to be warm down here and it's not. It's pretty darn cold. And in fact, I think uh, there might have been a freeze last night, so I don't know how the plants are going to do. So I'm gonna put get the hot sauce all ready. Now this, you could probably, we put two tablespoons in. And for this, I think you could even go hotter. It, it all depends on how well you like it. So, okay, two tablespoons of hot sauce. And are you planning on a Super Bowl? Do you have a, a team that you're rooting for? We usually, in the good old days, when Honey and I were, were first married, we used to watch the, the Bears. Those were the team that we'd watch all the time, and that's kind of telling you my age. Uh, let's see, Butt Cussel was in there, and there was all those old timers, but it was really exciting watching, watching them play. Okay, I'm going to move this over, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to be making a lot of noise. And I don't like doing that, but that's the only way I'm going to get this mixed up. So here we go. I think that should probably do it. I'm going to do it one more time, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put these in the bowl so we can mix them up really well. Oh, that be hard. Now, I've noticed that some people make these and, see, um, they crush them. Well, I suggested doing that to honey, and he said, you're not crushing those things. I like to eat them whole. He says, I don't want to have a bunch of uh, crumbs on the bottom. So I said, okay, we'll do it your way. 
Okay, I'm going to do the color. That should probably do it. All right, take off the little doodad that's in the center. So if, if you're stuck with a lot of uh, snow and cold, what are you doing to stay warm or what are you doing to stay occupied? There's not a whole lot to do. In fact, since we've been down here, we've been doing really well. We've been walking, oh, probably a mile and three-fourths. That's not a whole lot. We used to do a lot more. Um, so, but today it was almost too cold and it's really, really windy. And although we did bring winter clothes, we don't, we don't want to be uncomfortable. Okay, I'm, I've got a little whisk and so I'm still kind of stirring this just to make sure everything is really, all of the good ingredients are all coming out. There we go. All right, now I'm going to take a spoon and start mixing really, really well. I, well, you'd like to kind of let it sit just a little bit so it will absorb some of the, some of the good oil. Now this will be perfect. Um, these are even good for kids' snacks. You can have them uh, ahead of time. You can freeze uh, if, if you make too much and you don't want them to go stale, but they're really, they're so good, I don't think uh, you have too much of a chance that they're going to go stale. So here we go. I'm going to keep mixing a little bit more, make sure everything is out of there. Oh, I do have some good news. I don't know whether you saw it on Facebook or not, but uh, Hubby finally got his fish. He find, Well, he got two. He got one that was a pompano and that made a terrific meal. I'm going to be posting that. Very low calorie, full of good flavor. And anytime we ever post recipes, um, most of the time I'll put uh, alternates that you can use. If, if you, I mean, I know, not too many people can get uh, sea trout and pompano and all that, but you can always substitute with another fish. And, you know, and, and that's, that's all well and good, so. Again, I'm gonna let this kind of sit so it everything doesn't all fall to the bottom. So the the sea trout we saved. We haven't uh, we haven't done anything with the sea trout yet. We, so we froze it. We were the pompano is one of our kids' favorites. So um, we didn't uh, we didn't really start. Honey didn't start fishing. I don't fish. Honey didn't start fishing until oh about five years ago. And we'd come down here and we'd sit on the beach and. He'd, I'd, I'm not a beach person, or a sunbather, let's put it that way. Um, although I'm Italian, I can't tan worth a darn, and I just get restless. I, I can read, but after a while, you know how your suit is there, and you're like, do I have tan yet? Do I have tan? Um, I, uh, I like to be doing something. So once he found fishing, that was a lot easier. We didn't go and lay in the sand, and I don't like to get sandy. And I, I know I'm unusual. There aren't too many people who will say that. They'll say, my gosh, you're going to the beach. And I like to look at the ocean, and I like to be around the water, but I just don't like being on the sand, and I don't like laying out in the sun. And it's been, so anyway, when, when uh, Hubby retired, I thought, well, I was really happy that he, that he got the interest in fishing because that gave him something to do. And that's about the time I started blogging. Um, the kids wanted us to kind of put things down of, of what we're cooking. We were always calling them and telling them, guess what we got for you? And we'd cook it and they said, well, and we'd send a picture. They'd say, well, why don't you go ahead and write it down or do something? And I, it, I had no idea what a blog was. So hey, that's, that's how it all started. And uh, I love doing it. I really love cooking. I like writing. I like all the friends that we've made as far as the... Okay, I'm pouring this into a lined cookie, uh, an aluminum lined foil lined cookie sheet. So once we put it in, then we'll go ahead at a 350 degree oven. Halfway through, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, stir it up, kind of make sure all those goodies are everywhere. So anyway, back to my story. Uh, so he, he goes fishing and we're, he, we're really close by. It's about five minutes away. I'll do whatever I need to do here. I'll post, I'll study, I'll take pictures, and 
and then uh, he comes picks me up and then we spend the rest of the day together so it's a win-win for us we can both stay busy and I think that's that's really ideal um, when you know a couple especially in retirement years can find interests that they like to do and I'll tell you what, cooking is one of my passions. I love to cook. And I love, and it's not the eating part of it at all. I just like making it and sharing it. it that, that to me, I think I got that from my mom. To, I think to Italians, food is love, and they love to feed. And, and there, was, there was never a time when you went to my mom's house and you didn't walk out and there was food handed to you. You know, there you went. There's more food. So, um, yeah. So anyway. Uh, okay, I put them in here, and right now we're, I'm going to stick them in the oven, and then I'll show you what the other ones look like. Okay, now we'll put these in for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to go ahead and turn them halfway, and here they are. Now, I told you they did see them. You see? They did turn out, they don't taste burnt at all. They, they did turn out a little bit darker but that was just because we left them in maybe two or three minutes more. And as I said, every oven is different. Uh, we have a, a big oven at home. And this one, I think, might be a little bit hotter than ours. So, uh, but they, as I said, they taste fantastic. And once we're done here, um, I'll go ahead and put a link to the recipe that you can have. But as I said, you can make... You can double the recipe with this, it'd be easy enough, it, but you do have to have a big cookie sheet so that you know they're, they're spread out and they can really get nice and brown and absorb all that good oil. Um, and uh, the, I know I have read some of the recipes that, uh, some other variations of it. And a lot of uh, recipes call for vegetable oil. I, I think I've told you this before. I don't care for vegetable oil. I think some of the time it has kind of a cod, fishy type smell and even taste. And what we like to use is peanut oil. Peanut oil is fantastic for frying. It never really gets that old, greasy taste. And we use it for deep frying. We use it for everything else. So uh, if you really, I know it's a little bit more pricey. It's, it's nah. But it doesn't, it doesn't get old. It doesn't have that old, greasy taste, and your house doesn't have that yucky, greasy smell. So I hope you go ahead and you're going to try this recipe because it really, really it is good. Um, I, uh, I just posted a recipe yesterday, and my, my son Jason was so happy about it. He went to Casper, Wyoming, and he'd never been there, and he went hunting, and he got an antelope. And he gave us the tenderloin. So uh, we, before we came down here, we made the tenderloin. And I was amazed. I, I've never really worked with uh, wild meat. And so it's been a real experience for us. But I'm amazed at the taste of it. It's, to me, it's even better than beef. It, it has a really mild taste. And this in particular, it, it was just cre almost creamy. I, it, it's hard to describe. It's that good. And so if you ever have the opportunity, please try Wild Game. It really is good. It just, it just needs to be prepared correctly. And um, any of the recipes that I do have for Wild Game that I do post, I always put, you can, you can do this, the same thing. You can do it with beef, with a beef tenderloin. You can do it with, uh, with a pork tenderloin or the venison. And on this particular one, what we did was we marinated it. And <clears throat> once we marinated it, we wrapped it in bacon. And then we put it on the grill, and it was amazing. I mean, the taste was just spectacular. And then at Christmas time, we did a venison Wellington, and that turned out fantastic too. So um, I, ha I have noticed though that more people, uh, I think venison is going to be sold in the grocery stores uh, eventually. I think now they're, they're starting to come from New Zealand, and they're raising them for that uh, particular purpose like they do lamb. Um, I know here though it's, it's all well but to rest assured you know for those people who don't really like the whole hunting bit they are very very particular. You can't just go out and just start getting whatever you want. You have to purchase a license. You have to get a tag and a tag means it allows you for one. That's all. Um, and I know some people have to wait 
several years uh, because they're all sold out of the tags. For instance, like I think elk and moose, you have to wait two or three years I, because because of the, it's. I, I don't think it's a lottery, but you just have to be on a waiting list because they don't want to just over um, do the overkill. And uh, but this way, it, everything stays. Uh, the herds are nice and well well maintained, and they do make sure that there will be plenty in perpetuity, and that's what we want. So anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the recipe. And as I, again, it is the Buffalo Ranch Pretzel Nuggets. And you can make a bunch of those and just set them out for wherever you're having a party and the people will love them. And uh, you can add a little bit more hot sauce if you like it hot. Is it? We had just the two tablespoons. And the more it rests there, the hotter it gets. But we... Um, we may could probably been a little hotter, but two tablespoons I think is, is pretty well that even little little kids will go ahead and eat them. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, share please uh, the video. And uh, next week we'll be back at two o'clock again on Thursday, and I'm hoping to make another fancy, probably appetizer. It's kind of hard to do a full meal here since we're not at home. So, but I'll, I'll think up something, something to surprise you and something that will be good. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I love having you stop by. So, arrivederci and talk to you soon. Bye.